Hey, everybody, it's John from The Hustle Daily Show. Before we get into the show today, did you know that HubSpot launched an AI chatbot that helps you build awesome campaigns at scale with just a few prompts? It's called Campaign Assistant, and it's a totally free to use AI tool made for marketers and business leaders who spend hours a day on content creation. Campaign Assistant will transform the way that you build marketing campaigns at scale. Craft personalized emails, ads, and landing pages in just a matter of minutes. Just pick the content type, add the key selling points, and let the AI take it from there. And the best part? It works seamlessly with all of HubSpot's marketing and sales tools to scale your output across email, social, and more. So AI your way into the most effective campaigns yet at HubSpot.com slash campaign dash assistant. Howdy, folks. It's Thursday, July 28th. I'm Jacob Cohen here with Juliet bennett Ryla, and this is The Hustle Daily Show. Today, Juliet's going to be telling us all about some drama with celebrities taking extremely short flights with their private jets and a 19-year-old that's built a huge following tracking their movement and their environmental impact. But before we get to that, we're going to do a quick rundown of what's happening in business and tech. Let's get crackle acting. All right. So what have you been following today? One thing I've been following, not just today, but this whole week is much of the online chit chat, which has been around this Instagram story and basically the major changes that are being made to the app that are turning it into basically a TikTok clone. It's really happening here is the app's feed is turning into just another place for all this algorithmically driven short form video stuff, as opposed to seeing, say, your friends post pictures of their avocado toast, like back in the olden days, like two years ago, pre-TikTok. Yeah. And a lot of people are pissed off about this. Uh, a lot of everyday people who just liked using the app as it was, but also people like, let's say, Kylie Jenner, who historically has derived a lot of monetary value out of posting still shots of her makeup lines to 360 million followers. She shared a message the other day saying, make Instagram Instagram again. I thought it was very inspirational. And then we saw Instagram boss Adam Osseri go online basically saying, he knows it's not great. He knows it sucks, but that's just where things are heading, people. That's what he said, basically. And I thought that was very meaningful. And then about every digital outlet and writer came out with their thoughts on this whole thing. And this is all under the backdrop of Meta saying that they're going to raise prices of the Quest 2 VR headsets by $100, which surely will make more people buy it, right? And we also had Meta Earnings come out last night where we saw Meta's first ever year over year revenue decline. So a lot going on with Instagram this week with Meta. Uh, I'll be writing more about this in tomorrow's email, so stay tuned. But yeah, not a great week for Instagram. <laughs> yeah, that's saying something. In other news, cue the music. Spotify reported 433 million monthly active users in Q2, up 19% year over year. They also reported 23% year over year revenue growth led by advertising, and an accelerated expansion into audiobooks. They're also stopping production on Car Thing, which is a hardware device most people probably didn't even know existed. Did you know it existed? Nope. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, well, it did, and now it does not. Also, there's no Mega Millions lottery winner just yet. The pot is now worth over a billion dollars, marking the fourth time it's crossed that mark. I think the only guaranteed winner here is the IRS, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Moving along, Google released new features for its Maps app, including location sharing notifications, immersive 3D aerial views of 100 landmarks, and improved biking routes. I was once in Chiang Mai, Thailand, trying to find a historic temple and was led by Google Maps into the middle of the mountain wood. So maybe they could work on that. Yeah, that'd be great. I was once in Gary, Indiana, which is kind of a different vibe. Different vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And I was led to a gas station that had been torn down, which is kind of post-apocalyptic. All right. <laughs> Google, you heard Gary, Indiana and Chiang Mai, the two focus points for Q3. <laughs> yes. And uh, to anyone thinking of buying jeans, Old Navy promised not to raise the prices on its denim through the end of September. The move is an effort to lead a strong back to school season for the struggling retailer. Although I thought about this and I realized many people probably won't need denim until after September. So not sure what this will do. True. And lastly, SoulCycle is offering 47 classes to anyone who trades in their Peloton bike through a deal whose slogan is, F*** it, let's ride together. And uh, the offer is only available, though, to the first 100 people who trade in. So, What is SoulCycle going to do with the Pelotons? Uh, maybe they'll sell them. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you know, <laughs> they're worth something. <laughs> sure. 
All right, Juliet, what is going on with all these ultra wealthy folks and their private jets? Uh, Some good Internet drama, which, you know, I love personally. Mm, Love that. So we're going to go back to Kylie Jenner, who we talked about earlier. So earlier, Kylie posted this photo on her Instagram of her and her partner, Travis Scott, and they were standing in between their their private jets. And she was like, mine or yours. <laughs> and some people were like, oh, yeah, goals. Who wouldn't want to have a private jet? But if you look at the post, yeah. it's a lot of like, but it's us who must use paper straws. The carbon footprint be wild. This is why we need to tax the rich. Love your carbon footprint, bestie. So a lot of people that were just like, uh, this seems really irresponsible for you to be bragging about how rich you are and how you're going to jet around in your private plane, you know, in the middle of a climate crisis, a housing shortage, everything that's going on now. Yeah. Now, thanks to this Twitter account called Celeb Jets, we know that Kylie Jenner actually takes very short private jet flights. How short's we talking? So at one point it was talked about three minutes, but it turns out that flight was actually 17 minutes. So about 15 to 17 minutes. Um, It's not clear to me if she's like, I'm going from here to here and I'm just going to fly there. or If she's just moving her jet from one airport to another. Sure. The point is that every time she does this, that's about a quarter of the carbon footprint that an average person like you or me will have in an entire year. And she does that in 17 minutes. Oh, Right. And it probably happens a lot because these people are flying on planes a lot. Right. And, you know, this this whole Celeb Jets thing is interesting because it comes from this guy, Jack Sweeney, who is only 19 wow. and has been tracking private jets for a while. Um, he had an Elon Musk account where he just tracked Musk's jet. Right. And Musk was like, will you please stop doing this? I'll give you five thousand dollars. And from the richest man in the world, that's like kind of a low ball. So um, <laughs> he said no. And now he's got Celeb Jets, which tracks everyone's private jet. And it also calculates fuel cost and the estimated emissions. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I remember reading about this guy. I remember reading the Musk stuff. I'm pretty sure after Musk, he was dealing with Musk and he thought Musk lowballed him or something. He asked Musk for a Tesla or like 50 grand or something. (laughs) And he got blocked by Musk after that. Nice. I also think he he did the same thing with Mark Cuban. Mm, yeah. And he actually got something. I think Mark Cuban said if he took down his tracking count for Cuban's plane, he'd be a friend to Sweeney for life. And he gave him his email dr- address and he might be going to a Mavericks game or something. All right. <laughs> Fair. Entrepreneurial kid, this guy. Absolutely. And if you so if you look at this Celeb Jet account, it's, it's mostly... I would say it's mostly celebrities and not so much business type people. We've got Kenny Chesney. We've got Floyd Mayweather. Steven Spielberg's on here. Mm. Um, I I was just looking at one. So it was a Kenny Chesney trip. It resulted in about two tons of carbon emissions. And it was about a 280 mile journey in California. You could have done it in 4.5 hours. Or if Kenny Chesney was really cool, he could have taken the Amtrak's Coast Starlight train, which to me, it sounds like a cool country song, but what do I know? It does. It does. Yes. And the question is, how bad are these private jets? Well, they are five times to four times more polluting than a regular plane and 50 times more so than a train. So kind of a lot. And I guess the world's 1% are like, the, you know, the biggest emitters. They emit 70 times as much carbon as the bottom 50%. Mm. Now, the question is, does cyberbullying rich people make them stop using their private jets? Probably no. And, I, and here's what I think is interesting about this. So I was looking at a list of the biggest polluters with their private jets. And Kylie Jenner is not among the top 10. Oh, no? The top person is actually Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Yes. On the one hand, I get it. You don't want to be Taylor Swift on a plane. I bet that's real annoying. Everyone's like, oh, my God, Taylor, right. sign my arm or whatever. Right. On the other hand, she could probably afford to fly first class with two bodyguards and, you know, it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. And I think people would like celebrities more if they saw them on planes, like regular planes, the way people like liked Bernie Sanders because he would like do regular people. Shit. Right. But the thing about Taylor is she does not constantly rich post all the time and be like, look how rich I am. Like she does not. She's pretty quiet on social media. Whereas I feel like Kylie Jenner, this is actually not the first time Kylie Jenner has been blasted for being some sort of climate or environmental criminal. She at one time posted that she was really sad about all of the koalas that had been killed in the Australian wildfires. Yeah. Then she followed that up with a post of her $1,100 mink fur slippers right, so right, right i don't know would she wear a koala coat i'm not saying that but i am saying <laughs> <laughs> there's a reason why i think people like dumping on her and not taylor swift even though all of these jets are equally polluting obviously i like giving people the benefit of the doubt but still 
it's not a good look. Uh, and it's very ironic when you go flying around a private mm-hmm. jet and then post about the koalas. Right. <laughs> And bada bing, bada boom. That's going to do it for us today, folks. Thanks for tuning in to The Hustle Daily Show. We're a proud part of the HubSpot Podcast Network. Our editor today is Ezra Trupiano. Our executive producer is Darren Clark. I'm Jacob Cohen here with Juliet Benarila. We've got a lot more tech and business coverage in our newsletter. If you're not subscribed, you can go get yourself signed up at thehustle.co. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, guys. If you listen to The Hustle Daily Show on Google Podcasts, we want to let you know that the option will no longer be available pretty soon. Google is sunsetting its podcast app sometime in early 2024 in favor of YouTube Music, and we want to give you a heads up before it's too late since that time's almost here. The Hustle Daily Show is available everywhere and anywhere that you listen to podcasts like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you're using YouTube Music, we are there as well. If you're an Android fan, there are plenty of apps like Overcast, Pocket Casts, Player FM, and more. So just search for us wherever you decide to listen to your favorite podcasts.